Hey everybody, Thomas here from Team Lynn Vander. I'm currently in the Round Table, that's my board game tavern, and I'm here waiting for a delivery which just arrived, and that delivery came straight from the manufacturer in China. So this is Neverlands and Sherwood's Legacy. We've already had an unboxing of a, a couple of these games that were the print samples, and these particular ones are the actual ones that are sitting in a pallet by the hundreds, by the thousands, waiting to be shipped out uh, to the US so we can fulfill these games. Uh, these were sent over, I've already opened the plastic and stuff off of them because um, the manufacturer is so awesome that they wanted to just um, make sure that this is exactly what we ordered uh, while they're sitting in pallets because they, I guess it's like the point of no return that at this point if there's anything wrong in any of these two boxes they'll be able to fix them last minute. So, luckily for me, I've already gone through them, and I don't see anything uh, in here that's of grave concern in order to stop production. It, it seems to be like everything is in order, We're really excited, and I figured you guys would like to take a chance to take a look. So let's go through in chronological order here. So we've got Sherwood's Legacy. I know that a lot of backers, I'm trying to do this all one-handed here, so uh, a lot of the backers of Sherwood's Legacy are waiting a long time for this game, and it's finally at a point where the game will be inside... Um, North America in just a few weeks. Once I give the go-ahead of uh, to send this sucker off, it's already shipped up into pallets, and our freight forwarder will be uh, will be set with the appropriate tracking numbers. I'm hoping within a few days we'll be able to give you guys a tracking number so that you can watch the boat come across the sea and make its way to the port. So uh, here's the book, nice clean rule book. It's printed fairly well. I've already gone through all this, but you know it's your time to see it. Your time, your moment. So there we go. Uh, we have our punch boards, which I've already removed the ceiling of. And uh, as you can see on the punch boards, they're delicious looking punch boards, all nice and lined up. Everything seems to be in order. The color is fine. Pretty happy about that. Everything looks good. Everything's lined up in the back. I like it. Our tiles, these are your game tiles. They all punch out really nicely. Very clean, very crisp. A um, little bit of flash you can take off there and it's all good to go. Nice and tight and sturdy. Got some stableness to it. There we go. Keep going. Lots of tiles, lots of tiles, lots of things to... Gosh, lots of tiles. A little too many tiles. There we go. And we've got our character sheets. All right. A nice, thick, thick character board. Nice and... Nice and solid. All the different characters there. Fire Tuck. We've got our, our bounty track. We've got Maid Marion. You can tell I've already been through it because everything's kind of out of order. <laughs> Now we've got our quest coins. Now these quest coins are delicious. They're nice and huge quest coins. A little bit bigger than the ones you got in Albion's Legacy. So uh, you'll have to, uh, um, the exact same quality in terms of like what it's, what it's uh, uh, the, menu, the actual like engraving and, the, and the, the color and the shading and everything, but uh, the coins are just a little bit bigger, which is good because more value for your, for your buck there. We got our component pieces, our wood, our stone, and our, um, metal wood stone and metal pieces there the iron i think it is so these are all the different components that you'll be picking up in the game uh with your resources trying to build the defenses against the sherwood uh, sheriff's men colored bases we're going for the colored bases things for your standees so sherwood's being green themed we're using green bases thank you so much to our manufacturer for making that happen and we've got our cards big cards. We're not doing the tiny ones uh, for this particular game. They're all playing card size. So you can use your standard um, mats sleeves that you can find or whatever sleeves you want uh, that are used for Magic the Gathering or for your regular playing cards and these will work just fine. So our nice tray, it's all good to go. We got our artwork on the side. Everything's lined up perfectly. It looks nice and vibrant. It's Rowena and uh, Ivanhoe having a good time. And uh, yeah, so that's that there is Sherwoods. We'll just get that out of the way there so we can get to the next game. Now I know there's a lot of discussion about why you know Sherwood's uh, isn't been, hasn't been sent out, and why we're finishing Neverlands. Uh, there's been absolutely no difference in the actual time to deliver these games, just for the Sherwood's backers. We just happen to have this game being printed under the same uh, print press as Sherwood's, so it actually saves our uh, our company a lot of time and money to try and catch up on all the stuff we've been trying to do. So bear with us on that one. Uh, both these games will be shipping out. Extra content will be shipping out next month. Uh, it's in its final stages of approval for uh, printing. That includes all the expansion content and stuff like that. We plan on having all that stuff solved for you guys by March, uh, including uh, extra tokens and things which we have in the back uh, being uh, packaged up and ready to go. Neverland's Legacy. Check it out. Okay, so we've got the rule book. Nice and clean. Everything's there. Tells you everything you need. 
There you go, rule book. It's got your reference charts on the back. Our punch boards. Nice clean punch boards. Lots of tokens, lots of tokens. We got the ship. Nice clean at night artwork. The ship at night being attacked. And then during the day, the pirates are coming after after the, the lost allies. So you've got all of your the different tokens, all the different characters. You got Michael Darling, lots of boats. This stuff all punches out really nicely too, so it's just a nice clean punch out. You got your boat one side and your Neverlands Island on the other. Clean, easy to read, nice text, big text. Learning from all of our past mistakes. Uh, and then character sheets and all of the like. We've got Peter Pan. We've got Wendy Darling. We've got Tiger Lily and we've got Tinkerbell. So this is the pretty much like the all-female cast, which is awesome, considering that all of the previous works we've done, Albion's and Sherwood's, you know, it's, it's a shame because there's so many really good storylines with Arthur and, and, and Robin Hood, but it's, it's just like a male cast, so we did our best to try and equal, equalize the gender um, for these old, old folklores and, and really glorify some of the characters. And then here we got our villains, uh, Captain Hook, Shmi, uh, Bill Ukes, and uh, Gentleman Starkey. So all those character sheets are good to go. Okay, and then, <laughs> this is the fun part. I like, this is the part that makes me the most excited. So we've got our, our purple standees, so that, you know, we've got the green in Sherwoods and the purple in uh, Neverlands. We have our quest coins, same quality and size, nice, thick, and heavy, weighs things down. And then, for all of you Albion's Legacy fan backers out there, who had the Albion's Legacy for gosh knows how long. Oh, can't do this one. Oh. <laughs> Drop the phone, there we go. Um, I can't do this with one hand. So yeah, I'm gonna put this down for one second so you can hear me, but you can't see me. And I'm just gonna get this out of the bag, which I should have done probably before filming this video. And we're back. Ready? You know what this is, right? Oh yeah, purple stones of chance. Look at that. Da, 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 da. Purple stones of chance. Nice and clean and easy to read. These guys are delicious, they're nice and heavy, good quality dice. So the good news about this is, is that we're purple dice for Neverland's Legacy, red dice for Albion's Legacy, but we never had real dice, uh, Stones of Chance, in Sherwood's Legacy. But what we are going to do for the backers is, we are going to give, uh, especially those who have dice upgrades, and for just for the backers for waiting for so long, we are manufacturing green Stones of Chance, which aren't necessarily used in the game, but the green Stones of Chance are 100% yours. We will have a small package, package that will be sent out with each of your games. Not with your games, I lied. A small package of the dice. Actually, they might be sent out with the games. I'm not, I, I, think, I think they're coming with the game. If they're not, they'll be with all the expansions, but you will have a nice set of exclusive green dice, which will not be available via retail. And it's just for you guys as a special thank you for dealing with our uh, insane way of getting things done here. We're on a groove. This is good. These will be delivered by the end of the month. Uh, we'll have the expansion content shortly delivered after that. At that point, we'll probably, probably be deep into Gascons and uh, original Albion's extras content should be covered at that point and then we're almost done. Uh, just on the miniatures right now are just still in sculpting phase. The sculptor's taken a long time to get that together. We, we should have about 10 to 15 photos of new miniature uh, sculpts to show you. Uh, whenever he sends them to us, we're at we're at James Van Shake's mercy right now to get that information to us. Um, uh, we've been updated by him saying that it's coming, so we're just hoping that that shows up sooner, and then we can get the metal minis done. Uh, metal minis for sure, what are good to go? I think I think at this point it's just trying to catch up on everything and get everything out. But we're making it happen. Uh, 2017 is the year. Thank you so much, backers, for dealing with this. And uh, we look forward to sending you a whole lot of legacy cool games. Oh, and if you get a chance to, take a look at the other shameless games we're plugging, Legacy of Mana. And uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer from Jasco Games uh, that we designed is out now. Uh, I believe it's uh, releasing properly to the public and to mass markets fairly soon. And uh, you'll like that game. If you like these games, you'll like Buffy because it's another cooperative game, only it's in the Buffyverse. So... Okay, so far so good. Uh, we look forward to giving you more cool updates. Thanks, backers.